USA Network presents the 1990 United States Open Tennis Championships. A look at Manhattan in the distance. Welcome to the USTA National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows, New York. As we come into the stadium court, just beginning to fill in after a busy day yesterday. It's cloudy today, but very comfortable. 70 degrees, only 57% humidity, and for this time of year, that's not too bad. Coming up, the Women's Doubles Championship. Yana Novotna and Helena Sokova, the number one seeds, against the number two seeds, Gigi Fernandez and Martina Navratilova. And hello everyone, I'm Bill McAtee along with Billie Jean King and Tracy Austin. Good to be with you guys again. Let's talk about that number one team. Uh, Novotna and Sokova have been unstoppable this year. They have. They've won eight tournaments already this year and in the three Grand Slam titles that they've already won, they haven't dropped a set in the finals. So they're incredibly good. I remember playing them a couple of years ago, Bill, and they're just always in your face. They're always putting pressure on you, always at the net. They're both so tall and so strong. They love to be aggressive and put the volleys away. Novotna and Sokova going for the Grand Slam. That should be very interesting. Let's turn over now to Billie Jean King. And you're, of course, very familiar with Martina and doubles. Well, Martina Navratilova, first, she's the only left-hander out here today. And she's so powerful and aggressive. She'll be moving at every situation she can. She'll be going, poaching, trying to take over. So she is a really good doubles player. You should take a look at the graphic. Bo success by both Fernandez and Navratilova. But she's a player who can play doubles pretty well. Gigi Fernandez won the U.S. Open doubles with Robin White, and in that tournament in the semis, they defeated Shriver and Navratilova. Gigi's a great player. The one big change is that they've changed courts since Wimbledon. Gigi's now in the left court of the backhand court, Martina in the right court. And normally, Martina's partner is Pam Shriver. Right, but Pam Shriver is recovering from a shoulder operation. All right, so that's our matchup coming up. The Women's Doubles Championship from the 1990 U.S. Open. We'll be right back. TA National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows, New York. What a great year it's been for the U.S. Open. The finale today. And coming out on the court, Martina Navratilova and Gigi Fernandez. And on the other side of the net there, they are Yana Novotna and Helena Sokova. Of course, the finale is today. What a big day it was yesterday. This update brought to you by Acura Automobiles. The women's final, an upset. Gabriella Sabatini over Steffi Graf in straight sets. 6-2, 7-6. Final set going down to a tie break. And Gabby hung tough. <laughs> What a great moment it was for Gabriella Sabatini. All that promise for so many years, and she wins her first Grand Slam title. Both men's semifinals went to four sets. Andre Agassi was all over the court in defeating Boris Becker, the defending champion. Show you match point. 6-7, 6-3, 6-2, 6-3. So Andre Agassi into the finals. And of course, Pete Sampras ended the comeback saga of John McEnroe. The 19-year-old with a 120 mile an hour serve simply overpowered McEnroe. And of course, it ended with an ace. There he is, new breed in American tennis. Pete Sampras, so an All-American final today for the men's championship, Andre Agassi and Pete Sampras. And as you look down on the stadium court, Yana Novotna, Helena Sokova against Martina and Gigi. The USTA National Tennis Center. A look there at Yana Novotna and Helena Sokova. They have just been awesome in doubles this year. Uh, and the Australian, they beat Patty Findick and Mary Jo Fernandez. Two sets, but they were both tie breaks. And the French, the Russian pair, Sevchinko and Zareva, 6-4, 7-5. And at Wimbledon, they beat Kathy Jordan and Elizabeth Smiley, 6-3, 6-4. And look over there, Martina Navratilova, Gigi Fernandez. 
They have already won the Australian Open, the French Open. First U.S. Open as a team. Martina has won 30 Grand Slam doubles titles, 35 if you include mixed. And eight of those have come here at the U.S. Open. Let's take a look, Billy, at the strengths and weaknesses. There aren't too many. Really, if you look at the top three points there, it's the reason these two teams are in the finals. Their serves are excellent, all four of them. Of course, their return is serve, they keep the ball low, and they're very quick at net, good hands, quick reflexes. The winning edge probably would go to Nevada Sokova because they've been playing so much this year. Uh, their confidence, but they have better teamwork and they're more consistent. But I think a lot of that is because uh, they played throughout the year, whereas Martina really has changed partners. Uh, she played with Zena Garrison, sometimes she's passed up playing doubles in tournaments. Uh, and so I, I just think it's been more difficult for Gigi and Martina to become that consistent pair they'd like to be if they're going to beat this consist consistent pair, and that's Helena Sokova there. Her mom got to the finals of Wimbledon in 1961 against Karen Hant, 62. Lives in Prague. 25 years old, part of the number one doubles team, but she herself is ranked as the number two doubles player in the world behind her partner. Well, a lot of people feel Jana Novotna is probably the best doubles player when she's playing well. She's best because psychologically she is the one that picks Sokova up when things get tough. She seems to be able to stay in the middle emotionally better. She's ha she hangs in there. She's able to motivate. Two minutes. And that's very important quality. From Bruno, Czechoslovakia. Ranked as the number one doubles player in the world. Number 13 in singles. And she is one of the real up and coming players in women's tennis. The other side of the net. Martina Navratilova and Gigi Fernandez. Martina, of course, upset in singles by Manuela Maleva Franier. Martina, who lives in Aspen, but also in Fort Worth. Probably the greatest one minute serving volleyer that's ever lived. That fact confirmed by the record ninth Wimbledon singles title this year. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be the best of three tie-break sets. The team of Novotna Sokova won the And Gigi Fernandez, born in Puerto Rico, now lives in Aspen. Quickly, please. 26 years old. Aspen's very popular for the players. Chris Everett also lives there. Andrea Yeager. So it's becoming quite a tennis community. Not a bad place to live. I talked to Martina today. I said it's the Aspenites against <laughs> Czechoslovakia. <laughs> she said, well, whoever wins the match, I know that we win and where we live. <laughs> <laughs> when players are warming up, serve is the last thing that they do. And that's when you know that the warm up's almost finished. And you kind of get frantic. There you saw Time. Martina saying, give me a ball quick. And, you know, I want to warm up a couple more. You always feel Speak rushed at the end. Of the the court, end. Please. Because they usually give you a two-minute warning. And then everybody starts scrambling and serving, returning serve. It's amazing. Trying to grab balls. Yeah, it's never, never enough time, that feeling. Some last-minute strategy. Sokova and Novotna won the toss. I don't know if they chose to serve. I think they did. In the chair for this match, Fran McDowell from Mount Vernon, Washington. Well, they've had some long sessions. Quiet, please. I'm part of the people. Play. The lines people go at 45 minute intervals and then they change. And here we go. Love. 
they got a kick out of something. And they look quite relaxed. It's a pretty good first point. All four at net, going at it. Fifteen all. Good. Now, the, sorry. I was going to ask you, considering Martinez' loss earlier this week in singles, is it tough to keep your level of concentration high? Actually, it helped her to concentrate on the double. She's had two or three days off now where she's been, they've been practicing together out next to the court at the last uh, eight club there. And she was telling me this morning that she was much more focused for the doubles than usual. 15-30. 15.30. I have to admit, at Wimbledon, where there is a lot of fast action, some of the best matches the public never sees because they go on after the singles has concluded for the day. And uh, there are some terrific, terrific points on that ground. 30 all. To that point, you saw kind of the eye formation that Novotna Sokova use a lot, where Sokova stands in the middle, kind of bends down so that she won't get hit by Novotna's serve. But what that does is it makes the person returning have to guess and think constantly of where to return. And a break point. Navratilova Fernandez. Well, they've... Giannis hit the last two serves to Gigi's forehand. Let's see where she directs her serve on this one. Forehand again. There's that eye formation that Tracy Austin was talking about. All right, if you're the returning, you pick your spot and you go for it. Just watch the ball. Deuce. It is so effective because, you know, you usually just concentrate on your return and getting it over the net, getting it low down at your opponent's feet. But that's something added, an added pressure, and especially because Sokova moves so well at the net. She poaches so well. She's always moving forward, closing off at the net. When you're returning, you feel a lot of pressure. Yes. I kind of like this. Doesn't bother, it didn't, never bother me. It really made me almost concentrate harder in picking a spot and really staying committed to it. That's the important thing. Whew. There's the return that Martina's worked on the last 16 months, and that's flattening it out. Usually on her backhand, she just chips. And I know Craig Carden, her coach, and I have really tried to stress getting more behind it and hitting flat on the return, and that was a great example of that. The ball stayed so low that Sokova couldn't really see it. Here you see Sokova ducking. Huge. Bad choice. I don't think a lot is that effective when you're hitting it from mid-court like that. It's so, such a delicate shot. You have no distance to hit into, especially if you're up and add. Keep the ball low. So easy from here. I love to play. Excellent defensive play from Gigi Fernandez, keeping that ball up in the air. Making him hit one more ball.
Yana Novotna. Now they have to discuss which way Helena Sokova is going to go after the return. Constantly talk. They are a pair that talk a lot. much to talk about there. <laughs> Back to Deuce. This is the reason that Gigi Fernandez likes the left court. Because she can set the shot up for Martina. She feels she's much better. She's the off forehand better than the forehand cross court. Advantage Fernandez. A great return right there. You know that flat backhand that Martina hit a few points back. I think it really set up shots like that because it's going to keep Helena Skova honest. She realizes that Martina is willing to hit the ball down the line. Third break point. <laughs> oh. Gigi Fernandez, I think, stepped on Martina's foot. There you see Sokova and Yana Devotna discussing it. Yana getting right in. Now this is where neither one I thought <laughs> didn't want to take the overhead really. And then here you see where they collided, Martina and Gigi. I think Martina's okay. She's dancing around, checking it out. Second serve. Fernandez. Break point number four. And again, that lob was also so successful it keeps her honest. She's not going to get in too close to the net because Martina's willing to lob. She's mixing it up very well. Donna's oh. not getting enough first serves in this game. There's a reason they're behind the eight ball so much. So the number two seed started out with a break. Look down on the stadium court. Women's doubles final. Look down on the stadium court. Martina Navratilova serving. She and Gigi Fernandez up a break. Start the match. Oh, 30 This aerial view is terrific for uh, just really seeing the patterns of in the positions of each player. That's what, see, look at the positioning. You notice they're not in the alleys, everyone. <laughs> 40. 40. I know that Tracy and I both did some customer tennis this week, and you notice how many of them stand near that alley? They want you to cover nine-tenths of the it's, court. It's amazing. <laughs> Impressive love game. What's wrong with the alleys? We don't want to stand in the alleys. You want to be equidistant. And you see them moving in. And Gigi's got one of the best overheads. And it's very hard and heavy. She's got a lot of force behind the ball. When it hits your racket, feels heavy. Out. 15 miles. I think of the four of them, probably Gigi hits the heaviest. At least the player I've hit against every one of them. Maybe not Yana, but the three. Great movement by Navratilova and Fernandez. They move so well together. And one's over in the alley, as, as Billy talked about. The other one moves more towards the middle. They're always moving in tandem. Oh, 30 15. Martina and Gigi feel that Martina's a little bit better in the left court than she is in the right court. But Gigi feels she's just tons better in the left court. That's why they made that, deci that decision. 
Because I really think most of the time a left-hander should play the left court. You see Martina just running around and hitting this return on the four inches. Oh, it was really in close, but she stayed over the ball. Almost fell on her face. She stayed over it so well. Fernandez-Navratilova. 2-1. Fernandez-Navratilova. Patton. Empire State Building on the left there. The Chrysler Building on the right. I think Martina got lucky on that shot. She tried to hit a little drop volley. It was pretty high. You're not kidding. She was very lucky. She knows it. Tough at the net. 30, Good look from above now. Good reflexes. And then Gigi, she really got up well for that overhead. Well, usually Good. in doubles, too, the ones that are closer to the net are going to win the point. Gigi Fernandez, who has had some success in doubles, four titles last year, three with Robin White, one with Lori McNeil. opportunity for Novotna and Sokova. Billy, do you think Gigi would be nervous at all playing with like a doubles living legend? I think she was at first, but they're much more comfortable now. She, she did feel pressure earlier this year. The only time these two teams played was at Indian Wells in the beginning of 1990, and I watched that match, and I thought Gigi was really feeling uh, pressure. Also, she was having trouble with her quads. Quadriceps were really sore that day. Novotn and Sokova won that match in straight sets. Two and then seven, six, eight, six in the tie break. Just out. not necessarily the pace sometimes it's where to place it and here you see Gigi great serve sets up that shot by Martina just the flick of the wrist she has such a strong wrist Martina's always like to hit on the outside of the ball and hit those angles I remember her as a teenager when she first defected that that's one thing I noticed when I played against her Fifteen love. Fifteen love. How has Martina's game evolved over the years since she first came? I remember seeing her in Austin, Texas at the World Series of Women's Tennis. <laughs> That's the shot that Gigi really believed in, and I think 
they've been hitting just about 90% of the serves to that, and I think they're playing her in to that return instead of mixing them up more. You've got to really keep a player honest. You've, it's got to, like you've got to be like a baseball pitcher. You've got to hit different spots, different speeds, different spins. And boy, Gigi's just climbing all over that return now. I think Martina's game has improved so much, especially in the backcourt area. Her her backhand topspin is now there. You know, she didn't have one too much before. She chipped all of her backhand. And she couldn't really hurt you. She was very consistent with it, but didn't have the pace. But now she has that variety. And, as, and I think she feels much more comfortable at the baseline. You know, she's won the French Open, and so that is evident right there that she's comfortable playing on that uh, red slow play. Double break point here. She certainly has worked on her backhand, believe me, the last 16 months. She's seen so many of those in practice. <laughs> and another break for Navratilova and Fernandez. They lead 4-1. Navratilova, Tracy Austin used this type of tenacious play to frustrate Martina. Austin would win the second in deciding sets in tie breaks to claim her second Open Championship. And a fine moment it was, Trace. <laughs> it was fun. It was a great moment. Tracy was... How old were you? 18 that time. 18. 16 the first time, weren't you? <laughs> right. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> it's great stuff. 15 all. 30-15. Now, so far in this match, Gigi and Martina have been all over the net. They're more dominant. They're hitting with more authority, and uh, usually it's the other way around. It's the Kova and Novotna are applying the pressure. Oh. 30, 30 all. all. 30 all. There you saw that Martina won a Grand Slam with Shriver in 84. They won it a couple more times, but it wasn't in a calendar year, so they didn't count it. Either Gigi or Martina. I think they'll eat that up. They like that pace. And Martina and Gigi definitely been at the net more and dominated so far. Although I think they've returned better. Lobs are more consistent. There's a better team right at this point in the match. Double fault. For Martina. Well, the bi biggest difference in this match is Novotna has been broken twice. Oh! Advantage another Kalova. That's one of Sokova's favorite shots. She loves to hit that backhand lob off of the return. A tough shot. It keeps the net player off the net. She's missing it today so far. Oh. Game Fernandez, Navratilova. Five one. Five one. Take a look at the road to the final. Look at the first match. It was a tough one. Cuff riding McGrath. And, of course, Adam Gildermeister was three sets. Provis Ronick was three sets. So, uh, and Jordan Smiley, the finalist at Wimbledon, that was close. Get team love. Of course, we saw Liz Smiley win the mixed here on USA Network 
with Todd Woodbridge. 30 love. Novotna and Sokova, they beat Amy Ack, Patricia High. Pretty easy, except for Volograph and Schultz from the Netherlands. Three sets in that match. Just out. And a sigh of relief from Martina. Sokova. Nevada should have been in to net before. And this is the reason they lost the point. Martina and Gigi keep getting to the net first, and then they get them off the net. There was that great offensive Game long ball. I still don't the ball. 5-2. Women's doubles final. Volvo 240. So tennis center, Gigi Fernandez serving to do what no other team has done in a Grand Slam final, and that's win a set off Novotna and Sokova. when you're predominantly a singles player and you, you play a doubles match, for instance, right after a singles match, is it tough to, to forget about the singles lines? Not for me, but for some people, they have, they have mentioned it. No, I, I, really, I really got pumped for doubles. Doubles meant more to me, actually, than to singles. Because it's with another human being, and, and I like the part of having to communicate and have a common objective and work together. Uh, I know a lot of people can't believe that because so much media attention is given to singles, but I totally prefer doubles. I think sometimes, though, you have a letdown if you've had a long match in doubles and maybe you've lost. It might be hard to get back up for, for doubles on that specific day. First set, Navratilova Fernandez. 6-2. And I think that Martina's early round loss in singles, she lost in the round of 16 totally unexpectedly. I think that pumped her up for doubles because the only thing that she was left in, she actually she hadn't entered mixed here, so she really, really wanted to win it, and she had that focus for it. You're right. Fifteen love, and let's go down to Linda Pence, who's with tennis great Maria Bueno. Thank you, Bill. Maria, what's your assessment of this match so far? It seems at the moment the Grand Slam might be slipping away from Helena and Yana. Yes, I think it'll be uh, quite a good match, no matter what the result. And uh, Martina seems to be playing very well. And uh, you know, I like to see the way she uh, behaves in uh, in doubles, even though she lost the singles. You can see that she's enjoying very much playing doubles and I think it's great she's one of the few players that you know gives a hundred percent in singles and doubles so it's nice to see her playing well she's obviously probably one of the best doubles players around right now what do you think makes her so effective in doubles well uh, I mean she's very fast around the court and uh, of course she has beautiful volleys you know and uh, a serving volley game so this is just uh, the right type of game for doubles Besides being a great champion. <laughs> right. We were talking just a moment ago about Gabriella Sabatini yesterday. Uh, how do you feel about the way she attacked the net and played against Graf? I think she made a, a lot of uh, progress since June. You know, I was very pleased to see the way she's playing. I know Carlos very well. We come from Sao Paulo, from the same city. And he was always a very nice uh, net player. 
and I could see that she uh, added this part to her game. So she was not rushing that, but she was coming in very comfortably behind her approach shot, and I think that made all the difference in the world yesterday. She won, uh, you know, most of her points at the net because she has a uh, great uh, attacking game from the baseline. But, you know, most of the, the points were almost over, and then I could see her running back before yesterday, which Graf did. You know, she would get uh, uh, sort of a setup between the service line and rush back, and I think that made all the difference in uh, yesterday's match. Okay, Maria, thanks a lot. Thank back you. to you, Bill. All right, Linda, thank you. One love, second set. Coverage of the 1990 United States Open Tennis Championships is brought to you by Gillian. You're not just getting a dress, you're getting a Gillian. And by Subaru, we built our reputation by building a better car. Stadium Court, the National Tennis Center, Women's Doubles Championship. One all. One all now in the second set. Yana Novotna and Helena Sokova going for the Grand Slam in doubles. But right now, down a set to Martina Navratilova and Gigi Fernandez. These two are doing everything right. Everything's going their way as well, even on let courts. <laughs> oh, let's start that one over again. That makes everybody at home feel wonderful. <laughs> makes me feel better. I don't know about you, Tracy. <laughs> see if we can pick up what happened. Well, I can tell you what happened. There's a ridge there on this court, on stadium court. If it hits, that's what happens. 15 all. 15 all. Novotna very under par. Serve was broken twice in the first set. There's Hanna Monlikova, great champion who's just retired. Coaching down in Novotna. And next, Elena Kujard Yurik. He's also from Prague. He's Elena's boyfriend and also her trainer. He's in great shape. Martina takes every opportunity. That's why she's such a great doubles player. The ball was up high and she crossed, moved in. She's so aggressive. Double break point. Sokova, as they've done throughout the match, huddling between every point. Back in the eye formation. Ah! Use. Use. And that was just out. I don't think they're jamming Fernandez enough on the serve. Not, they're not changing it up enough. And they keep hitting into Gigi's strength today, which is her forehand return. She's just, she's clocking it. <laughs> this eye formation on the last time they're in this court. Yana barely got to the volley down the middle. Huge. I think it'd be easier not to play the eye formation against Gigi Fernandez. I wonder if they're feeling pressure today, seeing that this match is, you know, the last match that they have to win in order to get that grand slam. It's so rare to be in a position like this and that they, their games just don't seem to be up to par today. Well, that can happen, Tracy, if you think about it. You've really got to just stay in the now once you're on the court. 
in the present. Of course, it's easy to say. Oh, it is. It is easy to say. That's where you can help each other. If, you, if someone starts to talk about it, say, "Come on, we got to get back to now. Let's stay in the now." Ivana Sakova holds. 2 1, second set. <laughs> Doubles final. The number one seeds, Diana Novotna and Helena Sakova, against the number two seeds, Martina Navratilova and Gigi Fernandez. 15 all. 15 all. On serve in the second set. Average to Logan Fernandez, 6-2 in the first. 30. Take a look at the difference here. Yana Novotna right there has lost 17 points on her serve. Good stuff, says Martina. 40, 15. And the rest of the players have lost. Martinez lost three points on her serve. Fernandez has lost five. And Sokova's lost three. So that's the big difference so far. First first serve. Serve. You know, it's not always the person serving either. You have to judge how the, your, the partner of that person is playing as well. And they yeah. can help you so much. No chance there. Let's go down to Linda Pence now, who's with Hanna Monlikova. Linda. Thank you, Bill. Hanna, what would you say now to Jana and Helena if you could coach them, obviously, to get out of the uh, deficit that they're in? Well, I think Martina and Gigi hardly make a mistake. They hold set them to uh, four games. And I think, you know, that it's, it's very difficult. But I think I would go up a little bit more and uh, try to uh, cross more and try to change the, ch change the rhythm of the game. You've been coaching Jana for a little while, and she's had great success in women's doubles and mix. What's the key to her success in doubles, do you think? Well, I think, first of all, she, she had the success in doubles and mix before, but she's starting to have a success in, in singles also. I think, I think that's very important to her to get the confidence. And she gained the confidence from mix doubles and doubles, which is, uh, you know, she improved her serving ga volley game, and I think that helped her singles. Now, you won this tournament last year playing with uh, Jana's opponent today, Martina. What uh, the particular strength of Martina? What would you do if you were in Jana's shoes today to try and defeat Martina's game? Well, I think Martina is playing very well. I think she's very pumped up. So, uh, you know, Martina can do anything. But I think uh, I would play over Gigi. Okay, thanks very much, Hannah. Back up to you, Bill. All right, Linda Pence, thank you. 15 all. 15-30. Jana Novotna does not usually miss that kind of volley. And I know Tracy brought up earlier whether they're thinking about their Grand Slam effort here of winning those Grand Slam titles all within the calendar year. 15-40. I think the I formation when Gigi's returning is absolutely incorrect. Because Gigi has such a big forehand. Absolutely. She hits through the ball so well. It doesn't matter what they're going to do. And I think it's causing them more aggravation. And she can hit it both ways comfortably. Oh! Exactly. I agree, Billy. Double break point here. But when you're out there, you've got to keep track of what's going on so you can make the appropriate adjustment. And a break. 3-2. Back at the National Tennis Center, Martina Navratilova serving. She and Gigi Fernandez up a break in the women's doubles final. Not a bad record. What that says is you're good, they're good front runners. Once they get a lead, they just steamroll you. It's 
hard to get back in the match against them. And Vought and Sokova have been out front all year. I mentioned earlier, they hadn't lost a set in the three previous Grand Slam doubles finals. <laughs> They've won 44 matches in a row so far. These are the four best doubles players in the world right now. Novotna's number one, Sokova's two, Martina's number three, and Gigi Fernandez is number four. And this is the only event at the 1990 U.S. Open where the seeds have gone through. Martina's third double fault. First two in a row. I can tell you what she's thinking here. Generally when her point of contact is too low and too far to the left, she has trouble. So she'll be thinking about high noon, higher like that. Good communication from Martina. She called mine and then she also said bounce it because she thought the ball was going out. Excellent communication. Very important. Don't wait. Speak up fast. <laughs> Gigi's been able to poach a lot like that because Novotna's return doesn't have enough on it. Not enough pace or not enough angle. She jammed Gigi there. It was a smart play because Gigi has been trying to run around her backhand the whole match and smack that forehand. She tried there, but she couldn't get around it. Oh. 40, 40 love. 40 love. Novotna and Sokova looking for a spot in the tennis record books. Going for that grand slam and doubles. Four three. That about says it right there. Martina and Gigi at the net. Novotna and Sokova playing defensively today. They've had way too many unforced errors. They have 17 unforced errors, whereas Fernandez and Martina only have six. Now that's more like Yana Novotna, the way they've played all year up to this match. But I think Martina and Gigi started out well. They started returning well right off the bat. So psychologically, they did have the other two on the defense. 30-15. Linda Pence was talking with the great Maria Bueno earlier. And of course, Maria won four doubles herself here with a great doubles player, Darlene Hard, who I thought was probably one of the all-time great doubles players to live, both in mixed and doubles. Gigi's probably telling Martina where she's going to try to serve. Let her know her plans. 40 -50. Also, by telling your partner where you're going to serve, it gives them an opportunity to be real alert to maybe poaching because they have a clue what's going on. They can initiate. It also makes Novotna think, what are they talking about? What are they going to do? 
I never tried to watch that. <laughs> That's trouble when you start thinking like that. Don't worry about that. Just get your own act together. Watch the ball. Pick your spot where you're going to return. Time is running out for Sokova Novotna. Five three now. Botnan and Sokova trying to become only the second doubles team in history. Had to let that point play out. Gigi smiles there because she knows she played so well in that point. I mean, this is what doubles is all about. Look at that reflex. Keeps them in the point. But the next one was too tough. Novotna yeah. just slammed the ball out of the court. I think she's really upset right now. She's showing her anger. Finish that point. Pam Shriver and Martina won the Grand Slam. Calendar year in 84. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen today. You know, Bill, people ask if they play together, why is Novotna number one and Sokova number two? It's because throughout the year, they don't necessarily play every single tournament together. They do when they're at the same tournament, but if they're not, they have different partners. Game, Novotna, 5-4, second set. Open Women's Doubles Championship, Martina Navratilova serving for the match against the number one team in the world. Thirty fifteen. What happened there? Martinez teasing Gigi, pushing on the string, seeing if they're there. Here I think she gets so excited. She took her eye off the ball. She knew where she wanted to hit it, and that's where she looked. match points. Martina has lost only seven points on her serve. Four service games. She's been tough. Match point. Salova and Gigi Fernandez, the 1990 U.S. Open women's doubles champions, and will return in a moment. Vatna and Helena Sokova, and with the awards presentation, let's go down on the court to Billie Jean King. Thank you, everyone. Unbelievable women's doubles. Let's give another round of applause, please. Now the good times for the players, the prize money checks. I'd like to present to you William T. McCaffrey from The Equitable, who's been 
sponsoring women's doubles forever and ever here at the U.S. Open. William? Thank you, Billy. It has been uh, 16 years that the Equitable has been sponsoring the women's doubles, and uh, we're delighted to be here today to present the runner-up check of $71,431 to Jana and Helena. Congratulations. Jana Novotna and Helena Sokova. Which one's going to talk? Helena, I know you told me to ask you what you had for breakfast, but I think we're going to have to ask you a different question than that. Uh, you had a great year. Tell us about it. Well, we had a great year until now because we, I think we both were disappointed we lost the match, but we have to give credit to Martina and Gigi. They just played better today, so that's all I can say. Well, thank you. It's real important that all of you should realize that they were going for their Grand Slam title today. This year they'd won the Australian, the French, and Wimbledon before today. Well done. And now to the champions, Bill. Well, Martina, you and I have been standing side to side for many, many years, and this looks like a repeat. But my congratulations on behalf of the Equitable family to you and to Gigi, and with it goes a check for $142,861. Gigi Fernandez and Martina Navratilova. You both played unbelievably well. What was the difference, Gigi? Um, I think we were both really psyched. We didn't do so well at Wimbledon, and we were really excited for this Grand Slam. And also, we knew they were going for the Grand Slam, and we didn't really want to let them have it. So, <laughs> um, so we were extra psyched. Martina, why do you think you won? Uh, I think uh, we were really solid at the net on our uh, service games. We were only down one break point the whole match and were able to keep him from the net and uh, put the balls away that we were supposed to and uh, didn't really make any mistakes, just played solid doubles. Congratulations, and now I'd like to present David Markham, who's president of the USTA and also the absolute chairman of the US Open. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Billy Jean. It gives me great pleasure to present this trophy to Gigi and Martina, a truly American team, showing the winners of the 1990 U.S. Open Doubles Championship. Yeah, this is a Puerto Rican and an ex-Czech, but we make a hell of an American doubles team. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. The 1990 U.S. Women's Doubles Champions, Martina Navratilova and Gigi Fernandez. Thank you. There they are. 1990 Women's Doubles Champions. Gigi Fernandez and Martina Navratilova, 6-2, 6-4.